This video shows how to make sure that only students within a certain set of groups have access to an assignment. First thing is to understand the difference between groups and groupings. So if we go to the settings panel here and we click groups, you'll have a series of groups. You can scroll down. In this case, they're journal groups and side basic groups. Ideally, the side basic groups are within one grouping and the journal groups are within another grouping. So a, way, a good way to divide groups is between groupings. So groupings are groups, sets of groups. So let's now go to groupings. And we'll find there's only one grouping, journal. That is a problem if we're trying to use site visits for an assignment because they do not have a grouping yet. So we won't be able to differentiate between them and the journal groups and other groups. We can only then select only journal groups or every group. We don't have a way to select only site visit groups. So we have to create a grouping for site visit groups. Site visits. Okay, so there are no groups yet within site visits. What we need to sort that out is we click on the two little people on the side, and then we decide which groups to add. In this case, we'll add the site visit groups. Add it. So now we go back to groupings, and there are now seven groups within site visits. If we go to the overview, we'll be able to see who is in what group. Whereas the journals were individual groups, side visits are larger groups with three members each. There's also a group that's not in a grouping that includes every student. Just to repeat the process, we'll add that group to another grouping, which is going to be called every student together. All students. Click on the two individuals. Now we add that automatic group, which you wouldn't really need to make in most cases because if you create an assignment without groups, everybody will be included. Okay, so now we have, we see that there's one activity for the journal groups, but no activities for site visits. However, we do have an activity for site visits groups, which is having added the site visit divisions for the assignment. So what we have to do now is let's click site visit groups. We see that there is one discussion so far, and that discussion happened. Mariel started it, but it seems to be everybody can see it right now because it's not really within its own group. To solve that, we'll go to the settings for the assignment. Settings always the cog or the little wheel. Click on it and you'll be able to modify the settings for an assignment. Scroll all the way down to where groups are. Here, common module setting. Groups, separate groups. The difference between separate and invisible is that visible groups, you'll still first access your group, but then you'll have at the top a little tab that allows you to see what other groups are doing, whereas in separate groups, that won't be available. And then we'll select here side visits and groupings. So we selected a group, separate groups, so that they can only see their group's work. And then for grouping, we selected side visits. So that the groups that are being applied to this assignment are not all the groups that have been created, which include the journal groups and the side visit groups, but only the side visit groups. Save and display. Great, so now let's see So because unfortunately this discussion was created before we divided into separate groups, that discussion is now visible to anybody. We will have to ask those students to repost it within their group if they want the conversation to be private or if they're fine with leaving the conversation public, then they would just stay with that conversation, but that conversation started without being in a separate group, so it's an open conversation. That's why it's important to set up separate groups before the assignment starts, if that's the intent, so that some discussions that start as soon as the assignment is open do not start with the wrong parameters. Um, it's not that hard to fix one conversation, though. All we have to do is tell the students to repost within their separate group, and that should be fine. Then they will all be able to only access their individual group discussion. Thanks.